the bottle you put in the teapot it becomes the teapot now water can flow or it can crash be water my friend Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. I am Mr. Igni, the Camp Life, and y'all know what time it is. It's time for me to shout out to people that's been supporting me all through the week. Word up. Shout out to Average Gary, the guy that did my new banner. Word up. Shout out to you, my boy. Shout out to Penelope and Lewis. Shout out to Flip DFC. And shout out to my homie Crimson, the Camp Life. Word up, word up. All four of these YouTubers have been supporting me all through the week. Check them out. There's never been no sub for sub. It's support, baby. Like I said in the past, baby, nobody likes dead subs. Shout out to Camp Life. Shout out to Legit Crew. By the way, Ignite Gear is available. Description down below. Oh, yeah. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever the case may be. I am still Mr. Ignite, baby. Hope everybody's doing fantastic right about now. And um, this time I'll be going over a review and an extensive gameplay of uh, Cyber Police eSWAT. Now this game brings back a whole gang of memories for me, in particularly because I remember playing this game just enough to get the robot suit and getting past the first stage. I didn't have a whole lot of quarters. This was a quarter muncher. First it kind of takes it easy on you, and then it revs up later on. Word up, word up. So I'm going to go over a little bit of gameplay, a little bit of information about this game. And I hope y'all are going to enjoy it as much as I enjoyed playing this game. Let's get all into it, shall we? Now, Eastwatt Cyber Police came out in 1989. It's a side scroller. And it was made by Sega. It came out for the Mega Drive and the Genesis version in North America. And it's also known as City Under Siege. Now here, I'm reliving my childhood a little bit, going to the arcade and playing, you know. I don't really remember playing it on a system, but it came out for the Commodore 64, the Master System, the arcade, the Amiga, the Atari ST. And it was a classic side-scroller that really reminded me of Robocop. And it was single player like Robocop. It reminded me of sort of like a Robocop slash Transformers, kind of like the last gameplay that I did. And this game actually was a little bit better than Robocop in my opinion because Robocop didn't have a whole lot of special powers like the ESWAT police did. And this is a single player game, unlike Robocop, you know, they have something in common. The player that you control, his name is Duke Oda, and he's a member of the Cyber Police Force in the City of Liberty. He tries to clear the streets of a whole bunch of criminals, a whole lot of bad uh, elements in the city. There's 15 stages to this game, and you fight on the docks, you fight on the streets, restaurants, and bars, and car yards, etc. I like about this game that the fact that there's a whole lot of different weapons that you get to use. I like the variety in the bosses. You get to play a, against a, an ape, uh, a tiger, a monster truck, a whole bunch of cyborgs. And I like the fact that you pick up the armor and when you get damaged, you lose a little bit of armor. And I like the machine gun. And if your machine gun bullets run out, you get to run up and grab your ammo and then when you run out of bullets you get to punch the 
the bad guys, you know, in the throat. Or you don't really get to pick up too many weapons because the only time when you get a weapon is when you have the regular bullets or the howitzer when you transform into the uh, cyber police armor suit. But it's all to the good. I have a whole lot of memories playing this game. And I like the fact that in the game you get to use turbo thrusters and jump around and shoot bullets at people. I like the sound of this game because when you get to use your howitzer and you're jumping around and moving and grooving, I really like that machine gun sound. It kind of reminds me of the Predator movie back in the day, you know, when uh, Bill Duke had got that howitzer and he was letting loose trying to shoot at the Predator. I really like the, the sounds in this game. Very crisp. I like the colors. It was a whole lot of fun doing this word up word up if i had to give this game a grade i would have to say an a plus for the simple fact that this was the days when like i said earlier this game was competing with robocop and it came out around the same time and robocop was created by data east and this game was created by sega and it was definitely cool for them to have the rivalry because the benefits went to the folks that were playing the games whenever rival companies would go backwards and forth the you know the quality and we were the judges as consumers playing the games in the arcades and even the sounds and the colors and playing this game it was a whole lot of fun i remember playing it uh, not with a whole lot of quarters now i broke hood rules in this i got as far as i possibly could under time constraints with us all to the good baby a whole mess of fun i like the jumping around i like using different weapons grabbing the police bullets jumping in the cyber suit letting them have it a whole bunch of cool bosses i remember playing the tiger distinctly in the arcade but i ran out of quarters but not this time baby it seems like i got a whole lot of closure playing this game after the fact as a grown man, you know, playing it as a, a child. Because when you're a child or a kid or what have you, you don't have a whole lot of quarters per se. But now that I got my hands on the arcade version, I can, you know, press the quarter button or toggle switch or whatever the case may be and play as much as possible. And... I'm getting a little bit of closure. Y'all are actually watching me relive my childhood. It's all to the good, baby, baby. So like I said, A-plus game. Thank you for joining me for the 1989 classic E-SWAT Cyber Police. Whole lot of nostalgic memories, a whole lot of nostalgic sounds. Baby, baby, I'm going to leave y'all to the gameplay. It's your boy, Mr. Igni, the Camp Life. Thank y'all for representing that. By the way, be sure to follow me on Twitch. Same name. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, at Mr. Ignit1, and at Mr. Ignit. Description down below. Mr. Ignit gear is now here. Baby, baby, it's all to the good. Be sure to hit your boy up on the NS DMs if y'all want a discount code. I'm going to be coming out with them periodically. It's all to the good. Y'all take care. Be safe. Enjoy the gameplay. Mr. Igni, the camp life, baby. Guess what? I am out. Y'all take care of one another. Be safe. Enjoy the gameplay. Shout out to camp life. Shout out to legit crew. Let's do what we do, baby. One.